We have accidentally sent the wrong text messages to the wrong people. We have all done it. It is super embarrassing when it happens to you, but pretty funny when it happens to other people. Thankfully for us, Reddit agrees and asks their users to share some of the most inappropriate messages that they've sent to the wrong person. Ricky, what is on this list? I mean, there's a lot of great stuff right at the top. You know, this is someone saying, I texted a YouTube video of a guy doing one arm push ups to my boss who to my boss who lost his arm in a biking accident. It was supposed to go to my girlfriend. He was a good sport about it. He said, well, I'm going to have to try that out. Thanks. He laughed about it for a while and said that everybody had always avoided talking about his arm. Great guy. He also ran a half marathon with my fiance and me. He's a rock star. So it turned out pretty well. It seemed like the boss had a good sense of humor about it. How that. embarrassing is that, though? That's terrifying. Or wouldn't you that be worried terrifying. that you'd get fired? That's one of those things where you send the text and, and you just and you realize what you did and you just go, oh, oh God, oh God, what's gonna come? What's gonna come next? I can't, this is something's gonna happen, and then you're just waiting and waiting and waiting until eventually you either get in trouble, get fired, or they say, <laughs> The ones on this list to the bosses were my favorites. One of the other one was, I was really exhausted and bored at work one rainy day, so I texted my girlfriend at the time, I just want hot chocolate and snuggles. <laughs> a few weeks later, I needed to text my boss about a meeting when I noticed the last text I sent him said, I just want hot chocolate and snuggles. I went in and copped to it, but he played dumb and pretended like it never happened. Ha, what? How do you, like, at, first of all, you got the text, you didn't say anything about it, but then when the person comes in and admits like, I did that, obviously you saw it, it was an accident, I saw it, you saw it, I know you saw it. How do you pretend like it didn't happen? I would have had so much fun kind of taking the piss out of this guy. <laughs> I like this one right here. I was drunk and I thought I was sending Monica the text, so what color panties are you wearing? Instead, I sent it to mom. The reply three minutes later, black. We have never spoken of this. <laughs> I have to say, my mother sends me texts all the time that are meant for other people. None of, none of them are ever inappropriate. I'm always terrified that I'm gonna get something inappropriate for my dad, because I'm sure they do that, I don't know. But I'm just, I, I'm terrified that that's gonna happen because every day there is a text from my mom that is for somebody else. I can tell it's for someone else. Like the kids are excited the or stuff. Do you really? I do it all the time. I'm I accidentally text people constantly. It's never anything bad. I'm usually texting someone like, I'm around the corner, where are you? And it's someone else being, I, what? This is clearly, I'm, you're not around the corner for me. The only time it ever happens to me is if I have an old number and I think that I'm texting someone, but I only have their old number because they haven't given, I mean, it happens all the time because I only have fake and old numbers that people give me. No right. one ever gives me their actual new number. Oh, boo-hoo for me. Boo okay, I want to read one last one <laughs> before we wrap it up here. My wife sent me a text message asking what I wanted for dinner. I had forgot that we were having a family over for dinner that night. I sent her a pic of my gentleman veggies, which is the best term I think I've heard for this in this list, gentleman veggies, and asked her if she wanted that for dinner. I sent it to her entire family because I neglected to see that it was a group text. I thought about driving into oncoming traffic that night on my way home from work. Well, speaking of driving into oncoming traffic, can I read one before we go? You may. Called in sick to see a girl I was dating, sent something along the lines of, can't wait to catch up again with a picture of my dick. Send, wait, boss, no. First off, I don't care if you're dating someone or if it's, if it's your boss, don't send pictures of your genitals to people. Just don't do it. No. It doesn't matter who it's for. It's not Especially okay. penises. Nobody wants a penis in their text. Nobody wants a penis. I concur. Women, women don't want penises. Gay men don't want penises. No one wants to look at a penis in on their iPhone. It's very. It's almost like you're being assaulted. On your they are. Eyes they are, are an assaultive assaulted. member of the body. But they you, have a generally you have sort to of mean look. Wonder with a situation like this when you accidentally do it for to a boss or a coworker. Not only are you assaulting their eyeballs and they didn't ask for it, but you're probably like violating. Codes at work. And even if that boss forgives you and doesn't go to human resources, your boss has still seen your penis forever. I don't like No that. longer could you ever look at your boss with, with a straight face or be taken seriously. They've seen your penis. That's you should just be extra careful if you're sending anything inappropriate to make sure that it's not to your to your boss. I just think if there's one thing that we can walk away from this table today. Don't send knowing, genital pictures. Don't send genital pictures Fair to enough. anybody. Fair enough. Ricky? Just don't do it. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for schooling everyone on whether or not they should be sending pictures of their nether regions, which the answer is Don't. No. Don't do it. Do not. <laughs> don't send genital pictures. Just don't.